For those of you who don't know, Dylan and Mackenzie met when they were five years old playing soccer, and they reconnected their junior year of high school, like around prom time. And I vividly remember me and my mom having our morning coffee, as we usually did, talking about how cute Dylan was. And I made a comment before they even started dating. And I told my mom, yeah, Mackenzie and Dylan are gonna get married. And my mom was like, you think so? And I was like, oh yeah, for sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to kiss him, but I'm going to. Just listen to what God has to say about love. John writes, beloved, let us love one another for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. True love is not a fairy tale kind of love. True love is Christ-like. It's committed. It's sacrificial. It loves for the sake of the other whom you cherish, not because of anything that they do for you, but simply because this person is the object of your enduring love and affection, just as Christ loved you that way. to love you and care for you in sickness and in health. I promise to share my thoughts and feelings with you, both in joy and in sorrow. I promise to encourage you in abundance and in need. I promise to pray for you and encourage you to work with you and to make our marriage a loving, lasting relationship. I, Mackenzie, in the presence of God, promise you, Dylan, my faithful and enduring love to be expressed to you in each day and in all situations. I promise to love you and to care for you in sickness and in health. I promise to encourage you in, in, in abundance and in need. I promise to share my thoughts and feelings with you, both in joy and in sorrow. I promise to pray for you and encourage you to work with you to make our marriage a loving, lasting relationship. And above all, I promise to work and build with you a home where God is the foundation. you learn to say your prayers the place I took to praying and... 